barely. <laughs> Seriously, cannot believe I am here. I'm kind of like starstruck over the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> like I'm seeing a celebrity or something. Okay, we, we haven't seen it, just a peek, just a peek. I can't wait. Just figuring our way out through the Paris metro system for the first time. But like we're pros. We went to our Airbnb, dropped off our stuff, and now we're headed to the Louvre. Got to where the Mona Lisa is, and this is the line. <laughs> not sure if it's worth it. No, we're not. Absolutely not. not. <laughs> I can just zoom in. Oh it's yeah, good. I got it with the zoom, so we're good. Modern technology. And you know what? We didn't have to wait in line for an hour. We just went to the side and went <laughs> done. Mother and child. I like this painting. There goes my lady. Leaving the Louvre, at least we're trying to. Amy said it is much like an IKEA, how they trap you inside there. There's all kinds of store shopping, uh, food, stuff like that. So they want you to stay down there and, and continue to shop after you're done with the museum. So we're making our way outside to go find some food. So we flew all the way to Paris just to eat Italian food our first night. It was the first available option and I was hungry and I wanted to sit down. Yes, the good thing about this place is that they do Alfredo with chicken inside of the Alfredo, which we haven't had in two plus years because they don't do that in Italy. They added so much pesto. Pesto is good, honey. That's a lot. It's delicious. I promise Just you'll like it. Yes. Yeah. Now we're all exhausted, so we're headed back to the apartment for the night tomorrow. We're going to Versailles, so we'll see you in the morning. All right, we're headed to the Palace of Versailles. Good morning. We had some donuts for breakfast. They were yummy. Yeah, yeah it's going to be so much fun. I'll give you my phone. Eat over there. Eat over Very excited. Very, very excited. This is probably just as exciting for me as the Eiffel Tower. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. I just lost an earring. the Hall of Mirrors. There's 357 mirrors in this room. And 
I don't know how many chandeliers there are, but there are a lot. It's beautiful. Look at this place. Would you just look? Would you just look at this place? This was Louis XIV's bedroom, and he actually died in this bed of gangrene in his leg. He needed pe penicillin. <laughs> really bad. Liam got his arm and he kept on stabbing Ruby and me, and then she bit me. You guys are being loud. Ever we stabbed her, Ruby? Then she did the first time. Then she stabbed me. Then she bit me multiple times. Cameron. <laughs> This is the queen's bed chambers. Apparently 19 children were born on that bed. Two queens actually died here, but they said she gave birth publicly, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that means, how many people were here to watch it, but it happened right there on that bed. Was it on the night of the French Revolution? That's where the queen escaped through that door. Oh my God. Did not know that. Look at you. Yeah, wow. We're getting tired. There are no chairs at all. No seating here. So you just walk and walk and walk and walk. I'm hitting a wall. Are you hitting a wall? No. <laughs> Never. Hi. Of course Hi. not. <laughs> so we decided to eat inside of the side. They take us back. Remember, we're a family of six to a, a very quiet, fine dining room with our four kids. I'm like, Starting to sweat, starting to sweat. Okay. But we're surviving. <laughs> My club sandwich is 25 euro. And I have to say, I got it's not very good. Croque Monsieur. You know, I love that in the United States. It's so different in France. So here's what it is. There's no jam. In the United States, there's always jam inside. So, but it's still good. It's still good. 25 euro worth? Maybe not. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. We just started walking around the gardens. We didn't realize that they were almost 2,000 acres worth of gardens, so we jumped on a little train, which we thought was going to take us around the gardens to show us the, the stuff way far away that we weren't going to walk to. Turns out it wasn't the case. It just takes you to a few spots outside of the gardens to drop you off. So we got a cool little train ride, but it wasn't what we thought it was going to be. Chance to break, sit, sit down and get a break. It was worth it. It was the bumpiest train ride I've ever been on. I had it all figured out. Knew which road I would go down. Thought I could do it all on my own. Then you came around. When We just left our way to Versailles and now we're heading back to Paris. Landon's earning some babysitting money back at the at the hotel. And he's watching them while they're watching cartoons, so it works out great. But it's amazing how fast we can walk and how efficient we are. We don't have four little people with us. Zippity zip, we're there. Who knows what else we're gonna get into tonight without the kids. So last night Amy and I had a disastrous night. We tried to go to the catacombs. It was completely sold out. And then we tried to get on to one of the, the river cruises and it was also super crowded. So we just decided to go back to the Airbnb and relax and, and then get back after it today. But we just, uh, so we tried to get to the Eiffel Tower to take some family photos and the bridge that goes to the Eiffel Tower is closed because they're doing some sort of marathon or something today. Looks like everything is shut down until 3 p.m. So we gotta go find something else to do. <laughs> Trying to get the perfect family photo in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's so cute! Come on! Um, 
let's go to the first platform and then let's stop and take a break and then let's go to the next one and keep on climbing. <laughs> We're going to the Eiffel Tower on the top, top, top. All right, let's go. And there's a lot of stairs. Everything. Running. My hips are so sore. This is only the first floor. Oh, we're going all the way. I don't think we're going all the way. That's the way to go up and down on an elevator. I want to go to the very. Well, top. we're burning some calories. There. Now we're going to the second floor. Go towards the light, honey. Go towards the light. <laughs> Here we are on the second floor of the Eiffel Tower. And this. And this what? Hi. Oh, he was about to complain. So close. Oh, Dad. So one thing we didn't realize when we booked these tickets to climb the stairs of the Eiffel Tower is that you have to carry your stroller up. There's no place to leave your stroller down here. So you either got to carry it up or leave it with someone. So Amy didn't get to go to the top, so it was just uh, the boys, Everly and I, that got to the top, unfortunately. So here we are at another iconic French landmark, the Arc de Triomphe. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. As a kid, I just remember seeing parades of uh, the Nazis and the Americans from World War II going through this thing and down, down the street. It's a little hard to imagine now with all the people that are around here and all the traffic, but uh, it's still pretty incredible to be here. Pretty neat experience. We're back staring at the Eiffel Tower again, waiting for the twinkle lights. If they ever come. Do it! Don't do it! I'll get this on tape! Are you harassing me? Look! Look! Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Here's our apartment to review the Eiffel Tower right there. Hi Liam. I love these European doors. I'll never get tired of them. First floor is the best. No stairs. Walk in. This is where the boys slept right here. I'll show you where. Hold on, hold on. This is where mommy and daddy slept in this little room. Then the girls. Here's a bathroom. Yep, there is a bathroom right here. Just a half bath. And the girls bed. slept in this bed. And I don't it's so know. tiny, but it fit our family. I don't perfectly. know what this is. on, and you go down here. And that's what you see down here. You see a magical bathroom. And then here was the bathroom. 
Would you stay here again if we came to Paris? Yes! I really liked this apartment. If we ever come back, I'll, I would stay here again Wait in a heartbeat. All right, today's our last day in Paris. It's the first thing before we go back to Italy, we gotta get COVID tests for Liam and Everly. Thank you. Come on, slowly. Don't go up please. No, no, <laughs> not to worry. I'm also finished. This one, you okay? Yeah. You got it. Oh, you okay. good? Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. It's just I always... Now we're headed to the Saint Chapelle. Apparently is a 13th century chapel that was built on the French palace grounds or something at the time. I'm not exactly sure, but it's supposed to be really, really pretty. So we're going to check that out and then we're going to hit the Notre Dame, which uh, burned down, well, at least part of it burned down two years ago. Hi. So we're going to go and see whatever we can of that. Um, and here we go. trip so far we've eaten Italian we've eaten French Burger King and now we're at a Mexican restaurant this is the first time we've eaten at a Mexican restaurant in over two years really yes two years it's a long time we get a little variety when we travel outside of Italy it's kind of nice and we got Carl's jr. at the airport oh. This is the pistachio brownie cake thing. You like it? Yeah, I'm kidding. What was your original reaction? For the love of For the love of Pete. <laughs> <laughs> For the love of Pete! That's what not tastes like this. Black coffee is very strong and like delicious. I like this. <laughs> what do I say? What else do I say? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut that out! Okay! <laughs> Goodness gracious! <laughs> <laughs> I can think of dads. Want to hear dads? Oh, I count how many times on this trip you said this. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can. Man! <laughs> uh, here's another one that he says like every single minute. Be quiet. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Rainy days don't seem so bad. Stormy nights don't stay. From the moment that we met, you were. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is 
the Tower of Saint Jacques. So it's the last standing tower of an old church that was destroyed during the French Revolution. So it used to be an entire church right there. It's no longer there. Now it's time to pick up our bags and head to the airport. Let's go. No, let's, let's go. And I need to go to the bathroom. And we, and we gotta find a bathroom. Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know 